Hey gang, Diana here today with a review of the Mink Foiling Machine. I'm actually reviewing the Mini Mink Machine. A larger machine is available that accepts 12 inch pieces of paper, but uh, the when the Mini came out, I, I thought, okay, this is a good deal. The price point is better and it seems like uh, more what I would use in my studio. And uh, let's take a look. Okay, gang, let's take a good look at the mini mink machine. Uh, first thing I want to talk to you about is the size. It's 12 inches in width, and we've got about three and a half inches depth, and I think, yeah, about two inches high. So it's a pretty compact size, which I like because I can easily store it. Um, let me turn it on and we'll, we'll, this will be good. We'll see how long it takes. So I push the gold button once for each setting and I'm going to put it on setting four. I find that setting works for uh, paper um, that I am going to be using today. Now the, the machine will also come with this clear plastic carrier sheet. And I recommend buying another one, another set of these just in case because without these you can't do any foiling. And it also comes with an owner's manual. So while we're letting that heat up, you'll see the red light flashing. Let me just talk to you about some of the ways that you can use it. First thing I want to tell you is this works with toner. So if you've used a toner copier, or maybe you have a, a laser printer at home or at work, the toner is a powder that heats up and um, the foil sticks to the powder, the toner powder. So that's how this works. And this is, oh, we just beeped. So you can see that heats up pretty quickly. Sorry about that glare. Uh, the t the um, Heidi Swap packets of paper, decorative paper, they do come with packets, uh, or there are packets available, I should say, and uh, there's all sorts of, of uh, accessories available for the mink, and um, that's how these are created with toner, and that these are nice, and you can use them. Today, though, we're going to be using... Uh, what have I got here? I have got some acorn drawings and one of these drawings will be available as a free download digital stamp. So one of these acorns and um, I also have some pumpkins. These will be available as digital stamps as well. And I'm going to be doing a leaf too that will be a free digital stamp download and I'll talk to you more about digital stamps in the next video. Okay, so I have taken um, some lyrics to a holiday song, Winter Wonderland, and just copied and pasted them all over this paper for a background. So that is one of the ways that you can generate imagery. And then you take it, I want you to listen so carefully here, take it to your FedEx or office supply and copy it. It's got to be a toner copy. It won't work on an inkjet. And when you, I finally wound up just using FedEx's, um, I use their cardstock because I shut down a machine one time trying to use my own. So double check with the, the people there and make sure your cardstock is going to go through it. Don't, use, don't even try using vellum. That won't work. Sad, sad. But, um, and then you're going to set the machine in black and white. This, all this information will be available at my blog, so you don't have to remember all of this. 
I do want to give you one more measurement and that is this slot right here. This is where the piece goes in and it comes out this side. And that's about six and a half inches wide. Okay. Okay, so let's get started with the foiling. And I'm using deco foil here from iCraft Thermoweb. Uh, it's a little, it's, um, I've used, I've just always used this kind of foil. Heidi Swap has a foil and hers works fine as well as um, Ranger has some really cool colors. And I, I tend to like the, this is thicker, the Thermoweb's eye foil is a bit thicker as is Ranger, so I tend to find it a little easier to work with. But the, it's really, go for the color that you like. They all work well. So, I am putting my paper toner copy into the carrier sleeve and covering it with the foil. Okay? And I'm just going to kind of make sure that there's no bubbles. I don't know if that really hurts. It's more of a Ma might be more magical thinking than anything else, but and we're going to slide it in here and um, slides right into the front, which neatly accepts a six inch, the six inch um, folder, plastic folder or carrying sheet, and you're going to see it spit it out the back side, and this is this is where the fun. Where is this fun? It's it's really easy to do this. Uh, once you go through the steps of getting your foil toner copies, uh, your uh, toner copies, and you might even be lucky enough to have a laser printer at home. And then you can print out anything. You can print out on anything. So, okay, when it comes out the back here, it's going to be hot. So be careful with that. I'm going to set this back and move in a little closer. And my machine is still on back here because I think I want to do another one and once again sorry for that glare but let's take a look at what happened here. This is the sheet that could be and as you can see I hope it really did a beautiful job. There are no skips on this at all. It did a really nice job. Before we get started today, I just wanted to pass along this tip to you. I store my leftover pieces because there's lots you can still do with these. And um, I just store them in a folder. And or, and or I try to put them in this plastic sleeve here, which... We all know how organized I am, so that's a good way to keep leftovers. And I go in there first before I go to my rolls. 